uh, if it under, should we say, oh, it's only Bob, Bob's first appearance of the new year, obviously he's a Newcastle fan, and you can tell by his body language, it's not going well this season, is it, Freddie Howe? No. Anyway, we've got Tottenham today. Yeah. Oh, fancy a bit of Tottenham today, do you? Do you? Okay. Let's see what happens, Bob. All right, guys, Bob Lewis here, and today we've got a, another match day vlog for you guys. It's a Sunday in January. It's cold. It's Manchester United versus Tottenham Hotspur. And, well, it's been a bit of a, shall we say, quiet start to the year. Our only game we've had so far was Wigan away, and that was in the FA Cup, where we managed to win 2-0. Our last Premier League game takes us back to the end of December. A 2-1 loss away to Nottingham Forest. It's been quite bleak. Because our goal difference is so bad, a win today can only push us up into seventh, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Will we see Timo Werner play for Spurs today? Will he make his debut? Who cares? Hopefully it doesn't cause any trouble. We've got a few key players back today. We just need three points. Anything other than three points is just... Just... It's just misery. Come and join me and let's see what happens today. Come on, United. Try not to let me down. Okay. Alright guys, we are in the car, parked up at the Trafford Centre, as usual. Feels ages, feels like ages since we've actually done a vlog. Yeah. Boxing Day, the last one I think it was. We, we, we could have gone to watch Wigan Away, but I wasn't paying stupid money for it, so decided against it. Uh, and that was going to be a, a, a foregone conclusion, wasn't it? Yeah. We are always going to beat Wigan. Uh, obviously, we are applied for uh, either Eastley or New... New Newport away. And for those who know the ballot system, you'll know how most fans feel regarding it. Yeah, obviously there's only about 750 tickets for Eastleigh and about 1,500. Not so, even that, about 1,000. Yeah, for New for Newport. So chances of getting tickets, it's just a lottery. So yeah, if, if we're lucky, we're lucky. If we're not. It doesn't matter what you're selling. So yeah. Uh, to be fair, season's really over, isn't it? Yeah. Depressing. Let, let, let's be honest. What we're playing for? We're out of Europe. We're out of the Caribou Cup. We're still in the FA, FA Cup. FA Cup. Yeah. With, with the FA Cup, we, we've got no. We, we should be beating either Newport or Eastleigh. Well, let, let's not let's not hide the fact we're not challenging again for the league. No. We're probably challenging for Europa League and Conference League places, really, aren't we? That's about it. Uh, and, and that's not where we are. You're comparing it to last season, which is, I mean, this time last season, high volume of games. Whichever way you look at it, it's, it's season's been a disaster, it, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, wherever you look, it's been poor. Uh, today, it's it's not a, an easy game again. No, Spurs are very good side. Spurs, uh, they've been active in the uh, transfer window, and they've yep. got Dragus and. and uh, Timo Werner trying to trying to come back and uh, claim his claim his spot as a as a potent forward in the Premier League. Mm. Uh, yeah, they've got injuries. Uh, is Son away at the minute at the Asia so, Cup? Where it is, so, yeah, that's a positive for us. But um, well, they've got they've got good players over the park who can come yeah, in. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I don't know who's going to come back uh, for United. Obviously, we have got. Players who who are who have been injured coming back and training, mm. you know your, your Martinez's, your Casemiro's, etc. Obviously Sancho's gone. Uh, he's he got an assist yesterday, didn't he, for Dortmund? Yeah. Uh, it's it's down to what uh, team Ten Hag puts on the pitch, and it's going to be a cold one today. Uh, yeah, like, like you said earlier, if we win, we're only going up a place, really, aren't we? Our goal difference is so bad. Places, <laughs> but, uh, if we lose, you know, there's other teams around us, we're 
we're a mid-table team, really, aren't we? To be fair, yeah. Uh, there's no hiding that. Uh, but yeah, it's down to in ten hogs, eleven, and his game management, his subs. Yeah. Uh, his, his subs can be questionable. Yeah. Um, but let's see what 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 can happen today. It's been very indifferent in recent months. Mm. Uh, we've probably only won one Premier League game in the last five. I don't know. I think we've only. How many, how many have we? Well, we beat Villa. Well, lost. It? It's been hideous. So. Uh, it's to, not been great. It, it? it makes predictions difficult. Uh, and what United can can turn up. Obviously, the Villa game at home when we came from two down wasn't ideal, but we managed to get it. Uh, I don't. Tottenham can be a bit more steady at the back I've watched a few yeah. I've watched a few of the games and they're, they're not um... it, it promises to be a good game on paper yeah. uh, there's going to be goals I think uh, no, I hope so. where they're going to go to I don't know uh, can United win yeah we can do but do it the other way we don't do things easy uh, will, will it take I don't one? know what, what to expect today I, I, I think it might be a draw it a draw yeah well I mean against Villa it took us let's be honest it, it took took us to go 2-0 down before you could say the players actually woke up because the first half was poor and then the second half I yeah, mean, I mean, Villa were, were, were shocking even the games we've won this season haven't been great um, no I think it, it could be 2-2 two, two today I think 2-2 two, two. Or, or a very we really need draw. to win I mean, I mean uh, obviously I want United to win but realistically can we I don't know I'm going for 2-2 two, 2-1 two. Two, United All right. I always feel confident against Spurs at home but it's the fact that we need Three points, you know, if Son's definitely out, then we've got to use that to an advantage in the sense that yeah, they can't say do that, that but the, the, going forward. They've got players across the park. Oh yeah, can, they're still a class team. Who can uh, who can score? So let's see. Yeah. The return of the potato. Look at that. Good. Get it. Fantastic. Today's starting eleven consists of Onana, Fernandez, Rashford, Hoyland, Eriksson, Garnacho, Varan, Dallo, Wambisaka, Evans and Mainu, and on the bench, Bayern Deer, Heaton, Kamwala, Martinez, Casemiro, Forson, McTominay, Pellestri, Anthony. Let's just get the job done today. Yeah, let's get this right. Abdul and Fahim. Yeah. I, I, I'm the silent partner behind. <laughs> All the way from Aberdeen. Yeah, Aberdeen. Yeah. Yes. Aberdeen yeah. How did you get here, by the way? We drove. We drove down. It took wow. us about five and a half hours. So well, that's dedication. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we get the win today. Go back with a few goals. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, what what do you reckon's going on today? Obviously, it's not been going that well in the league. We managed to canter through against Wigan. Well. We're building. We're, I mean, obviously, with a lot of injuries, it's not helping. But you just need our faith. And we've got, yeah, we've got people coming back, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So uh, Casemiro, Martinez. So Pretty we don't want to do players. what we did against Villa. Yeah, don't no. give them a two-goal lead because yeah. Tottenham are a half-decent side. Decent side today for yeah. So they've got a lot of key players missing. So hopefully we should get the win. Entertain. And, it should be an entertaining game yeah. on paper. It, 
It should be, but you never know. Never know. No. What um, do you reckon, prediction wise? Prediction wise. I don't think Onana's going to get clean sheets, so I'm going to go for a 3 1. What do you think, Lewis? I've gone for 2 1. 2 1. I'm sticking with Lewis, 2 1. 2 1 to United, though. I want, yeah. to, I want Onana to keep a clean sheet, but let's be honest. Onana's going to be Onana. No. <laughs> I think Hoyland gets his goal. Hoyland yeah. to score, yeah. definitely. Anyway, cheers, cheers, lads. Have a good day. Thank Safe you. trip back. Cheers. defence set pieces but uh, I mean I, I just had a funny feeling we conceded one against Villa every game it seems to be we've got about back we've had the possessions Spurs have been dangerous it has been coming I mean there's plenty of time Well, quite a crazy own goal from the last of class. Never knew where he was then. Thank <laughs> you. 
indicated a minimum of three minutes at a time. Well, Tottenham just hit the bar from um, from the corner. We got to stop in the corners. That goal came from one. Uh, it's half time now. United two, Spurs one. We've got to be leading at half time. I don't really think we've, we've said that many times this season. You know what? We could have had a few more. I think it's just lack of thinking. I almost think the brain just doesn't exist when, when we get into the final third. Last year, just before half time, I think he could have shot. It's just ideas. But Spurs, I mean, you know, conceived from a, a corner and then you know, hit the bar just before then as well from a corner. So that's what we need to really work on. Not just in this game, but in all games. From set pieces, we don't do very well. I think we deserve to be ahead, but we really just need that one more goal. One more goal, 3 1, is just a cushion. Yeah. I think Tottenham have had some good possession. Yeah. We've given away two, obviously, give away corners. Corners can sometimes just happen, but they've had, what, five, six, seven corners and scored yeah. from one. Uh, again, we can't defend from corners. Uh, we've had a couple of, well, two shots in time, yeah. two goals. Not much more than that. As I say, we, they, we do look vulnerable when Spurs go forward. I don't trust our defence no. in those situations. Uh, yeah, I was, I was having, almost having a go at Rashford before he scored. It's, again, it's been a bit lackluster. Then he pops up with a goal. You know, David, it could have been an own goal this end when their guy tapped it against the post. They just hit the post as well. So there's goals, more goals in this. Oh, yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. I, I, I picked a 2-2, two -two, but we really need to get the next one. I feel it's a bit fragile at the moment. Let's, let, let's see if we can come out with a bit of purpose in the second half. Next goal is crucial and it has to go to us. If it goes to 2-2, two -two, it's just putting more pressure on ourselves. 3-1, it's a cover, it's a cushion. Brings them on to score goals, and that's what we need. Substitution for United, replacing the 35, Jimmy Evans. It's in the six, Rosandro Martinez. Evans off, Martinez on, he is back. For United, replacing number 10, Marcus Rashford. United, Rashford off, Anthony on. The referees indicated a minimum of five minutes of time. That's a chance for McTominay over the bar. And it's finished, United 2, Spurs 2. Well, we took the lead within the first five minutes. Gave away stupid goal from a set piece. Any, any goal from a corner, a set piece, is just sloppy, really. I'll have to see it back. Then we went two on ahead just before half time, and then I think it was only about 50 seconds after the restart, they equalised. I think, draw, I think it's a fair result. Spurs absolutely dominated us the second half. They had lots of chances, way too many corners. It's something we really need to work on, defending from set pieces, especially. But Tom only had the chance at the end, but look, you know, we can't really blame it on all on that. Um, I think the draw is a fair result. It doesn't do anything for us. A point's useless, let's be brutally honest with ourselves.
but we move on. I think, you know, that in hindsight, Spurs, should they've got a winner? Maybe, but listen, you take it, you leave it, and you have to move on. Next game, is it Wolves away? I think we've got a bit of a break now, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what it brings. Thank <laughs> you. 